हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल सी एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर ट्वेल्व प्रिपरेशन ऑफ डिस्पेंसिंग एंड ऑक्जिलरी लेबल फॉर सपोजिटरीज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दी वीडियोज काइंडली सी the playlist of practicals of community pharmacy and management under that you will get the previous all 11 experiments if you didn't subscribe to my channel then please subscribe first and press the bell icon and under the notifications that is do it to all so that when i will upload any video you will be notified first as we are uh, uploading the videos to help the students to solve the activity based questions and to solve the synopsis based questions then now see that is the what are the dispensing labels for the components of dispensing label for the suppository so suppository it is a semi solid type of the dosage form so similarly that the components of dispensing label for semi solid dosage form as we had seen in the previous experiment that is experiment number 11 which includes the patient name medicine name that include generic name as well as brand name prescription number dose route and frequency of administration quantity of suppositories to be dispensed other specific directions for suppository storage conditions date of dispensing filling and expiry date name and address of dispensing pharmacy name of pharmacist and prescriber so that details should be there for the components of uh, dispensing label then now see most important auxiliary label for semi solid dosage form so auxiliary label for the suppository includes see it's very important part for rectal use only not to be taken orally then stop the use if there is rectal bed bleeding and consult to the physician then do not administer suppository if you have stomach pain nausea or vomiting keep away from reach of children then protect from light then now see the requirements here dummy prescription pen paper pencil notebook is is an example sir there then uh, see that is at different activities are there in that activity one is there you have to identify the components of the label given below so this label is given now you have to identify the components from this label so firstly patient name that is pratip ghatge medicine name is bisacodyl uh, see here bisacodyl 10 mg suppository that is brand name here is delcoflex and dose is given that is insert one suppository rectally in the morning as per the need quantity is also given then this is auxiliary label is there rectal use only keep out of reach of children then do not exceed recommended dosage these are the auxiliary labels are there then uh, dose here 10 mg frequency of administration so here insert one suppository rectally in the morning as per the need quantity of medicine dispense so it's a five suppository route of administration so here rectal route is there then specific direction do not exceed the recommended dosage storage conditions store in cool and dry place away from sunlight date of dispensing then auxiliary label so here for rectal use only keep out of reach of children then name of dispensing pharmacy trinity pharmacy and name of prescriber that is physician's name doctor name is given here this is your activity one you have to identify the components of label then now see the activity number 2 so here from the prescription you have to prepare a dispensing label containing the auxiliary label so now see second uh, that is this is label is uh, there the, and uh, you a dispensing label and auxiliary label you have to prepare then see this is label you can take the screenshot of this also uh then uh, uh, that is detail pharmacist name is given the uh, clindamycin plus clotrimazole 200 mg by brand name candid cl suppository is there so insert one candid cl suppository should be deeply as deeply as possible into the vagina and preferably before going to bed for three consecutive nights so this dose is given then this treatment should be carried out during uh, menstruation but should be completed before this begin then protect from direct sunlight then only for uh, vaginal use only not for orally this is your auxiliary label 
for rectal use only and store in cool and dry place this is your auxiliary label then okay so this is activity 2 you have to prepare this label then now so activity number 3 see this is dummy prescription is there so from this dummy prescription you have to uh, prepare the label so prochlorperazin 25 mg 12 suppository uh, this is I had given and uh, 25 mg two times a day that dose is there so now see uh, that is it's dumb, uh, dummy from the dummy prescription see the label is there now see that is pro pro chlorperazine 25 mg suppository right its brand name is composin suppository then now see dose is 25 mg two times a day its dose is there then direction remove suppository from plastic packet then place suppository pointed end first time into the rectum as far as possible and to assure dosage accuracy do not divide the suppository then see here that is label liparties not for use in children's then do not remove from wrapper until ready to use this is your auxiliary label for this see from this dummy prescription we have prepared this label and this will be your dummy prescription hey and our tools dummy prescription okay then now see questions components of dispensing label for semi-solid dosage form so these components are there that is the patient name is there patient name then medicine name generic name as well as brand name prescription number dose route frequency of administration then quantity of suppositories to be dispensed other specific directions for use storage conditions date of dispensing filling and expiry name and address of dispensing pharmacy name of pharmacist and prescriber these are the components of dispensing labor for semi-solid dosage form then now see auxiliary label for suppository so for auxiliary label here it's uh, for rectal use only or uh, not to be taken orally stop the use if there is rectal bleeding and consult a physician then do not administer suppository if you have stomach pain nausea or vomiting keep away from the reach of children protect from light this is the auxiliary label for semi-solid dosage form so this is uh, the uh, dispensing and auxiliary label for suppositories so here our part uh, if in the manual that is the preparation of the dispensing and auxiliary labels so that part is finished over here all the videos are available under the playlist of practicals of community pharmacy and management kindly go through it all the very best for your examinations thank you so much for fully watching this video happy learning